With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello guys, so our today's question is, what force should be applied on the wedge so that block over it does not move? All surfaces are smooth. So guys, see in this question, we have been given a wedge and a block and a force F is acting on the base. And it is saying that what is the value of F so that the block on the wedge does not move. So guys, see here, if the block on the wedge does not move, then we can say that acceleration will be equal to total force by total mass. Since the block is not moving on the wedge, F total is F and total mass will be M plus small m. So this will be our acceleration. Now see guys, if we go in frame of reference of the wedge, then the forces applied on the mass m are mg downwards because it is due to the gravity and ma force on the leftwards because we have gone in the frame of wedge, so pseudo force ma will act on the block toward left side. Now if the block does not have to move, then the component of uh, pseudo force toward upside should be equal to the component of weight toward downside. Now let us assume that this angle is theta. Then this angle, that is the angle, this, we also theta. So we can say that the component of ma upside is ma cos theta. And since this is theta, this will be 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta. So the component of uh, mg that is weight toward downside will be mg cos. 90 minus theta. So we can say here for no movement of block, no movement of block over wedge, we can say that ma cos theta should be equal to mg cos 90 minus theta. Now here m and m will cancel and it comes out to be that is acceleration comes out to be g of cos, 9, cos 90 minus theta is sin theta and sin theta by cos theta will be tan theta. So this will be g tan theta. Now we will put this value of acceleration in second to first. So it will become as acceleration is g tan theta so we will, we will be right. So we will write g tan theta is equal to force upon capital M plus small m. So from here our force comes out to be capital M plus small m into g tan theta. So this is the force applied so that the block does not move over the base. And our correct option is option B. Thank you guys. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.